Dear students, I welcome you to the class 4 of convection, in particular forced convection. So in a forced convection, in class 4, we are supposed to do, discuss differential convection equations. I repeat, it is differential convection equations. So there are three different equations under this convection, which you should be aware of. Those three are continuity equation, maybe Stokes equation, conservation of energy equation these three continuity navier stokes and energy conversion equations these are the three equations it may sound something different but you have already come across these three equations in some other names those are you already know about law of conservation of mass right conservation of mass it says that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed that is if m dot 1 is mass flow rate before the process and m dot 2 is mass flow rate after the process those two should be equal that is what it says coming to the second one navier stokes equation somewhere in your high school itself you have already studied newton's second law of motion newton's second law of motion which was speaking about momentum conservation of momentum as a result of which we you got these equations f equals m into e right so here what are we speaking about we are speaking about momentum so momentum conservation is nothing but navier stokes equation we will derive its differential form in this chapter then the third one is conservation of energy equation that is nothing but law of conservation of energy where it says energy can neither be created nor be destroyed right so this is energy con conservation law law of conservation of energy fine so you already know the meaning of these three equations but the thing is it has to be represented in differential form fine so now coming to the continuity equation i told it is conservation of mass so mass flow rate should be seen okay throughout a process if you imagine any control volume control volume in the sense go back to basics of thermodynamics you will get the mean control volume your p speak about the system which enters into this volume and which leaves the volume outside this volume whatever may be the mass whatever may be the properties we are least bothered we study this particular space in the thermodynamic point of view and whatever mass it is being added or removed that matters fine so that is the meaning of this control volume so now if I equate the mass flow rate, say M1 is entering and M2 is leaving. If I equate this, I should get an equation, which is nothing but continuity equation. Fine. So for that, you need to know about units. Mass has a unit of kg. If I say M0 mass flow rate, it should be kg per second. Right. So now, concentrate here. Rho, there is a density which has unit of kg per meter cube into if I multiply it by velocity I get meter per second if I multiply it by area I get meter square so meter square into meter is meter cube it just cancelled with the denominator part so I will be left out with kg per second which is nothing but mass flow rate so m will be equal to rho into a into v this is what we are going to do in the derivation part fine I hope you have got this basic idea so now here the continuity equation have a boundary layer VBL indicates velocity boundary layer velocity along y length of the plate along x so this is the plate okay so now imagine a small elemental area of dx into dy okay I am speaking about two dimension so in three dimension you can imagine the dz as one so dz will be equal to one so now for this elemental area if veloc if u is the velocity with which fluid enters in differential form it leaves after traveling the distance of dx here it is dx will it will leave in the partial differentiation equation form that is u plus dou u by dou x into dx similarly for v it is v plus dou v by dou y into dy is the velocity with which it enters it is the velocity with which it leaves in y and its direction respectively so now equate mass flow rate 
mass flow rate into this control volume into that means entering so I speak about u and v fine so if it is u look over here density into velocity into area density into velocity into area so area over here is you need to take the area which is normal to this plane for that you need to imagine a three dimensional figure say this is how it is dx dy so this is the dz which is equal to 1 so with velocity u fluid enters and it leaves from this shaded portion so for this dimension is dy here it is dy into dz dz is 1 so i'll get dy into 1 plus along y direction density into velocity into area this is equation number one you can call it as equation number one which is mass flow rate into the control volume then we have equation number two that is mass flow rate out of this volume out of the volume in the sense it is well density into velocity here it is velocity into area dy into n similar to this so velocity components gets added up so along y direction density into velocity into area fine so now equate these two equation one and two if i equate this u into dy here u into dy and v dx and v dx gets cancelled i will be left out with only these two portions these two expressions rearrange it send v to the other side i'll get dx and dy as common things which can be cancelled now i have left out with du by dx equals minus dv by dy in the other way around it is du by dx plus dv by dy this should be equal to, to zero fine if it is three dimension i can also add plus dw by dz which should be equated to zero so velocity component of velocity in this particular direction derivative of a velocity component in that respective direction if we if i go on adding those parameters i should get it like zero this is the differential form of continuity equation okay but how did we got this just by equating mass flow rate if you remember this much you can easily go through this derivation you can solve it by yourself just you need to remember two points point number one continuity equation will be derived by equating mass flow rate and mass is represented by rho into u sorry u or v that is velocity density into velocity into area density into velocity into area this is the point i am speaking about if you remember these two points it is done fine as simple as that i hope you have understood this concept in this class we will speak about Neve-Stokes equation thank you